Seven questions of the session, chopped it up with Chris Cash. Man, y'all know what it is. It's your boy Black Aladdin TV, man. Seven questions in the session, man. Shout out to my boy Caddy Chris. She ain't my girlfriend, but I make G's with her. You get it? Yeah. She ain't my baby mama, but my C's in the way. Yeah, what's happening? It's only 10 30 and we got this bitch smacking. You know it's finna happen much like with Black Aladdin. You heard me and Big Frank. Who is the baddest? 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 Make that ass clap, make it snap, talk to me. Put it in reverse, look back, walk to me. Two shots of Yo, this you old Caddy Chris, man. You are now watching seven questions in the session. Today I got the woke black Latin over here, man. You already know that. Yeah, you already know we finna get into this interview. First thing first, go follow our sponsors, Billionaire Hemp Wraps. Treat your lungs better. Uh, Spray 420, best cardio deriser out there. And ate off the bone, men's and female oils. Come get you some so you can get you some. Yeah. Man, appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Man, shout out to Big Billionaire Hemp Wraps, man. Oh, my life. I know what I'm smoking, man. Shout out to them, man. Bro. How you been, bro? I've been straight, but how you been, man? Yeah, I've been all right, man. I've been trying to, you know, get my shit together, keep house in order, shit like that, bro. Most definitely. Bro, first thing I always ask people, bro, like, so how did the name come about, bro? Like, what made you pick that name and be like, this is what I'm running with, bro? I just get what I wish, man. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 in a nigga way, you hear me? And I'm black as hell. So black and lad, you know this shit magical. I just put it all together one day. Yeah. It was Chef Boy R D Tree at first, but I had to switch it up. Too many niggas was naming themselves Chef, and I just wanted a fresh start. You definitely the only nigga I've ever heard name that like yeah. bro, and it's different to stand out, bro. Like, what what made you hop off into the music shit, bro? Like, what made that your passion, bro? Uh. It was just really, I just knew I was good at that shit because people just kept telling me, man. It was a lot of people, too, who was like, man, that shit trash. You garbage, man. Now you ain't going to make it with that shit. And that make, that put fuel under my fire, you know what I'm saying? That make me like, what? I'm what? Okay, watch this. When I go back to the booth this time, I'm going to fuck them up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I always just get motivated when people doubt me. So... By the time I looked up, I was just going crazy for years. Bro, speaking of for years, nigga, what people probably don't know is back in my rapid day, man, this nigga did a song together, bro. Man, listen, man, they don't talk about. <laughs> <coughs> Why you stop? Yeah, bro, I, I kind of fell out of love with put, putting out music, bro. I was spending so much money. And it was like I wasn't getting shit back. But this was before streaming and shit, bro. So it's like, I probably, if I would have went like another year or so, probably, bro, I would have started seeing some bread out of it. But just at that moment, nigga, just street shit, just life, nigga, I was drained from that shit, bro. Like, but that, that's when the show was birthed, though. Because it's like, I love Milwaukee music so much, bro. I was like, I got to do something here that got to do with music, bro. Like, yeah. I got to do something. This is this most definitely your lane. She was cold with the music too. I don't think bro, you should stop. I appreciate that. I, bro, I don't think you should stop. I get more people to ask me about that when they see me, and then the show. I, I get people like, "Well, you ain't rapping no more. You ain't dropping shit." Yeah, bro, I just it wasn't near me no more, bro. The plus, I started pushing like Rivian shit, and then I start helping other artists. Yeah, the shit that didn't pan out, bro. There was just, bro. Yeah, just, just me. I can control this. Yeah. Can't nobody tell me this shit whack. You either you <laughs> watch it or you not. <laughs> Real shit. Real shit. Bro, but let me let me talk some shit for you for a little bit, bro. Like, nigga, you, you almost had four million views on your personal YouTube page, nigga. Ten thousand subscribers, nigga. Like, Man. like how that shit feel coming from like you said, people telling you your shit trash, nigga. Like to to See, you got a little following. You got. I don't mean to say little. You got a following. Nah, uh, it feel like I'm still trash because four million ain't shit. Coming from here, it is. Like, I mean, no, nah, not to me. It's niggas who done got that on one video. Like we, that's a whole channel. That's kind of low to me. That ain't. That don't hold no weight to me. I still feel like I got a lot more work to do. And like, I ain't shit. Ain't nobody listening to that shit. I need to go hard. That's how I feel. 
I need y'all, man, stream my shit, man. Go to Black and Light TV, subscribe, man. Go fuck with my shit, man, because them numbers low to me. I need 40 billion views on that motherfucker. You feel me? They can run it up. Like, that, 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 4 million, man, that shit. I mean, you know, it's some niggas with less, but I never try to compare myself to people with less or people worse. So to say, I always try to compare myself with the niggas who, okay, yeah, they got 4 million, but so and so just got 100 million on his shit. You need to get like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't go in competition with bums. Then it's gonna make me I'm gonna be comfortable, be content. I ain't gonna never move up. I ain't gonna never elevate because I feel like I'm that nigga where I'm at already. I got plenty of work to do, bro. Bro, why don't you explain Black and Latin TV? What all can people come to your page and see you, bro? Oh uh, it just like man, my channel is like a big ass cable box. I might be on there dropping music one day, just uh, uh the audio with the flyer. Or you might hear some of my music with a music video to it. Or you might come on there one day, I'm talking about a TV show like Power or BMF or something, doing a recap. Or I might be doing a recap on some battle rap shit, whether it's a recap of a battle or the gossip, what's going on. Or just some, you know, a, a rapper died or something like that. I might blog about that. I might just, you never know, man, whatever. I feel like turning my camera on and saying or doing shit. You want to watch some hood cable, man? Subscribe to Black and Latin TV. God damn it. It's a big ass guide on that motherfucker. Bro, what I want to, <coughs> what I want to, <coughs> shit, what I want to show you some love about, bro, was back when I was doing my thing, bro, I thought I was the GOAT and putting stickers up everywhere. Man, nigga, you, you was. You, you, de you, talking about? <laughs> you definitely took that title, <laughs> my nigga. Oh, my <laughs> No matter where I go, I see your stickers, nigga, everywhere. I just put a sticker at the gas station. We stopped that before we pulled up here. I just put one up the door. I swear to God. I swear, everywhere I go. I used to thought I was the gun at that shit, nigga. I, you, that's definitely your title, my nigga, all my life. Man, yeah, yeah, let me hit that screen. You were so yeah, about. man. Uh, on some music shit, bro, how many styles you got, bro? Well, I sing about four myself. Okay, yeah, you name the four you sing. I sing with the... You can get into some real rapper shit, bro. You get into your harmonizing bag. Yeah. I seen you kind of do like some damn near alternative music, <laughs> if yeah. you want to call yeah. it, bro. Like, so, like, nigga, like, how many styles do you got, bro? I never count it. I just hear beats and I just record what I hear off of. So I might not be rapping that day. I might be trying to sing in auto tune or put a little melody. But then it's different type of auto tune singing. Is I might be in the R and B bag, you know, try my hardest to be a a, a Chris Brown or Trey Song, you know all that. You know what I'm saying? The auto tune shall save me. It, or I might jump in my white cliff and beanie man, elephant man bag on some that's reggae shit. Way. You know what I'm saying? It, it that's slightly future too. You know, future got like that little he, he 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 is split second away from Jamaican with some shit he be doing a lot. Every now and then you yeah. can you can hear it. And then I ain't gonna lie, like uh uh, one of the biggest artists in the world to me that, that really influenced, like I listen to their vocals and shit and I fuck with Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? She do a lot of different shit and just is trying to sing and do different shit. And I be getting into like them island vibes and shit like that. She shall lead you the way or some shit. Why Clef too? Like motherfuckers like that. I be on weird other shit that niggas don't be on sometimes. You even had your Miami vibes going, man. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> or, or like you know, I just still do that Milwaukee shit too. That's forever. Like, but bro, and it, it was dope to see you <coughs> work with Big C, bro. <coughs> yeah, I'm actually uh, man, I, I ain't go ahead. Don't don't spill your I beans, man. Here. I'm gonna speak on that nigga quick fast. Though. I had a conversation with uh, with motherfucker Bugatti Zoe the other day, and um, he was just he broke down this whole segment about how the city now sound like Big C, like just yeah. how a lot of the niggas rapping now how they how that style was his, bro. Yeah. It, and it was good to see you working with him too. And I'm like, yeah, that nigga back out here doing his thing. Bro. I have most definitely uh, jumped in my Big C bag on mini records. That's big, bro. Like this shit deeper than rap. That's my nigga for real. That ain't just no, oh, y'all just see me with Big C one time, a quick video, get a feature, and they disappear. That's it don't seem like he'll do features with everybody. Nah, like that. that's my nigga for real. Like, I talk to my nigga all the time. But the thing with, with Big C is, it's like, okay, it's always a grandfather of every flow. 
So that's not a bad thing. So niggas don't got to try to switch their shit or feel like they stealing the nigga shit. As long as you ain't stealing the nigga bars. Ain't like shit, he, he painted that flow. For, it, man, think about it. Back in the day, New York niggas, Jewels, Cameron, all them niggas was rapping alike. You know what I'm saying? Jada, all them niggas had the same tempo beats to... You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, the East Coast shit. Yeah, East Coast shit. And niggas wasn't fighting about that shit. Everybody just made their own bars and had their own shit, how they, how they did it. Big C has grandfathered a flow in the mill where it's like, them niggas shouldn't feel away and he shouldn't feel away. That, that, you know what I'm saying? Certified Trapper made a sound too. That's what it is. It's, it's just like uh, putting your signature on that sound. You know what I'm saying? And then that's what other people going to do. It. Look, T-Pain. The whole world don't auto tune. Most of the music Still. wouldn't be. I really don't believe it would be a ride wave without T Pain. No, especially that Florida shit. Like that's Florida it would, shit. You don't think Mo three R P Mo three was inspired by T Pain? A lot of them. A they, lot they, of like a lot. Movies. A lot of that shit come from like Wayne mixed with T Pain. Like, like that that whole era nigga was kind of mm -hmm. Wayne mixed with T Pain after them two niggas. Like, they they created a sound. Yeah, Big C like, created a sound. You see what I said? Chicken had created a sound too. I freed that man. I just said that a little early today. Free no man. bullshit. Them niggas, they had their own flow patterns. They all how they do shit, but it's all still Milwaukee though. Now who did it best? I don't know, but I know who the grandfathers of this shit. The Chapo got his own style too. Real don't nobody real. sound like him. So as soon as you hear niggas sound like, oh yeah, that's that Chop Club. Shout out to that man too, man. And that's that's unique being from Milwaukee, being able to just make a whole new sound out of all the music that's out here in 50 states and niggas can still make their own sound. That's creativity. Yeah. yeah. But enough about other people, bro. I'm going to ask about some more about you, bro. Like, what's been motivating you? Because I seen you've been dropping back to back lately, bro. Yeah, because my the album I just put out, Never Give Up, the album, go stream that on all platforms. That's out that. that's out right now, man. I got some heavy hitters on that bitch. I put twenty four songs on that C D. I want I wanna ask you about the album too. I wanna ask you like why is it only on YouTube and shit like Because it's uh we we ain't gonna talk about it. Okay, you know what I'm, I'm waiting wait for it. one record to get cleared. This shit is already uploaded and ready. I'm just waiting for one record to get cleared. This shit is already ready. And I'm so mad because the YouTube shit had, I said it to Premiere because they was just sick of me and I had to give it to them. You know, and I'm like, I got to get this one record clear real quick before it go on all platform. But that record, whether it get cleared or not, I know about in a week, you they still going to be able to hear it on YouTube at least. I, and I seen they got it as tracks on there too. Yeah. Like one just huge track, but it's tracks in there. That's, that's, it's that's highway ready. Dope, bro. It's like you pop that bitch in and go. It's so only an hour and 15 minutes, but it's 24 tracks. So if you want to knock an a, a hour and 15 minutes off your drive, you on that highway or you working that out at that it. gym or whatever, let that bitch ride. Y'all yeah. know what it is, man. It's your boy Black Aladdin TV, man. Make sure y'all check out my new video, Eyeball featuring Blessed Team Big C. J, give me like me, man. Shop by CT on work. films. Y'all know what it is, man. Say the up. Chris, man, and this is a quick break from this interview to let y'all know to please subscribe, like the channel, man. Tell your people to follow. Tell your girl to follow. Tell your mans to follow, man. Get us some subscribers. Get us some followers. Share interview. Yeah, right here. You see it. Seven questions in a session. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You can follow my personal page at Caddy CEO underscore Chris. Follow the channel. Seven questions in a session. Back to this interview, bro. You had to go spend your money today, bro. What cameraman you going to go shot with? CTM Films or, or Ray Shot I just followed him today. <coughs> Shout out to him. CTM. Wait, wait, wait. I just followed in in the city or in the world? You already said you're two in the city. Where you going in the world? Then? Who you fucking with? I like how you put this real shit. Because I can't put nobody before my niggas from home. Yeah. But I do got to get out there who got the subscribers who will probably turn me up right now. 
Lyrical Lemonade, uh, Cole Bennett. Yeah, dog dog. dog I, I seen that fucking, uh, I'm high, I can't even think of the nigga name, and I listen to him all the time. But anyway, he did this one video for Dog and the nigga from Chicago. Why I can't think of this nigga name right now? Polo. Polo G, he did a video for him, and I'm like, and he shot like the behind the scenes and shit, and it was just like dope. I like the nigga uh be shooting dirt though shit too. Uh, what's the name? Jerry. Oh uh, yeah. I don't know what, what Jerry Films or some shit like that. Is that the nigga who shot like a lot of the Detroit shit? Yeah. Yeah. He go. I like his shit. Bro, YouTube beats or locking in with a producer. I don't never go on YouTube for beats no more. <laughs> And last time I went on YouTube for a beat, goddamn it, was earlier today when I just downloaded an app on the phone just to record on the play with. Before that? It's been years. Shout out to my nigga Physics 808, man. Beats by the Bill, Tay Love, like, shout out to myself. Shit, I've been making some of my own beats too, so, yeah, you know? I've been doing my one too, it's beat, beat wise. I, I'll get offended the motherfucker pull the YouTube beat up in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to DJ Payne, too. You know, I'll be locking in with motherfuckers buying exclusive rights and, you know what I'm saying, really dropping that bag for my shit. You know, making sure that my niggas eat. My niggas gonna eat before the song, give you sell a string. You know what I mean? I got to buy the beat some fun. Yeah. How did it come... How did it come about you working with Omar Glove, bro? Ah, Omar, my nigga, dog. Uh, oh, that was a dope ass feature, bro. I think, <laughs> that was different. They, that was, it was they so would never different. expect. That was random as hell. What? Cause like, bro, because it's like I, this I, nigga grew up, with, I grew up watching this nigga. With, bro. With, <laughs> <laughs> did this nigga just come on <laughs> with a strawberry soda? Bro, like that shit was crazy, bro. You snap with that shit. Nah, uh, man, I met Omar through a good friend of mine who really in the business. He into this film and shit, Hollywood shit, Netflix negotiations shit. Man. My nigga, uh, my nigga Rick, my nigga Ricky, um, from Nashville, Tennessee. Long story short, I was out there in Nashville fucking with him, doing my one two. And he like, man, they had a red carpet event for Omar in the um, movie that he filmed. So shit, you know, shit at the time, I'm in like a little cheap ass hotel. I ain't even know where expensive, because I was really just got there last minute and just came to fuck with him. So I was somewhere doing my one too in Nashville. I don't even know really where the fuck I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving off the GPS in, in a bag in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's how it be. So I'm thinking I'm finna catch a lift up there to the um uh, to the event because the truck that I was in at the time that motherfucker was running bad. You know what I'm saying? It started having, it was a fat truck. But I put that bitch on the highway to go to Nashville halfway there and start feeling funny. I'm like, hold oh, on. Damn, I ain't bring no tools for this shit. But I still made it down there. But then I didn't want to keep moving the groove. I'm like, that bitch is going home and it's getting so you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker but I'm uh, they end up. I said that to say they ended up uh letting us jump in the sprinter, fat ass being sprinter. He like, uh, we about to go get Omar because I missed the red carpet event, so it was the next morning. By then, I met him. I parked my shit, jumped in, and we went to go pick him up. We came out the hotel, and you know me, shit, I ain't gonna let no opportunity pass me, but I'm right away like, man, we'll, we'll introduce myself, bro, beat me up a little bit. I'm like, yeah, fuck all that. Turned the Bluetooth phone in the screen and played my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I played that song mm-hmm. that he um, And he was like, oh, that shit fire, man. Woo, woo, email that to me right now. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? It just happened so fast. And I sent it to him while we was in the van. And uh, we went to go take shots. We had uh, calamari and shrimp and woo, woo. You know, we went to go kick it before he jumped on the plane. We took him to the airport. I had to piss so bad, so I ain't properly shake his hand and get up out of there. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? We've been drinking and shit. When he got on the plane, I came out the bathroom. He was gone. I'm like, damn, I hope he don't forget about me. He ended up hitting me up like, hey, yo, woo-woo, what you think about this shit? Hit me up a couple weeks later. 
Shit was crazy. Then we went through a whole thing when we lost the entire song because some shit happened where a nigga in Miami was supposed to mix it and master it, but some shit happened. Everything ended up getting lost. I ain't had the files no more. The laptop was corrupted. It was over with. The shit went all bad. And then I found Omar number in my old phone a couple months later. Like, bam. Hitting back. Like, man, we got to do it over. Woo, woo, woo. He went and did it over again, bro. And I lost it again. <laughs> I swear God to God. Damn. He did it over again. And I lost it again. So now I'm like, damn. Omar was kind of getting impatient with me. I'm like, damn, man, I hope I, you know, I'm still in the trenches. This nigga in Hollywood, I'm like, damn, I hope, you know, that was unprofessional. I hope I ain't fuck it up mm-hmm. on the real. So I ended up going to uh, L.A. for a battle. I still had the solid version, though, that he had emailed with his verse on there. So I still had the actual song, but we needed the files to bust it down before we put it out. We wasn't putting it out like that no matter what. He, he didn't even sign off on how it sounded like that. It was a rough drive. But I go to LA, we do the, uh, I, I hit up Rick, I'm like, man, tell Omar I'm in LA. Let's do the video. Shit, we do the video. You know what I'm saying? He pulled right up, he came to the trenches too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We out there in Cali, mm-hmm. we do video. He called me the, early that morning, like, man, whoa, whoa, I got these girls. Blah, blah, blah. We finna do it like this. I'm already in the little loft looking complex with the pool and the bunch of cools. He doing my one too, so. Pull up, he pull up, fat ass bins. He had the females with him like he said. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was all. We filmed that shit. That is crazy. Then he ain't just do that and get up out of there. He kept in touch with me. We've been talking about a lot of shit. Like I just talked to him like last week. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I, I, I seen that nigga my growing up my whole life and shit. <clears throat> yeah. He actually one of the niggas who <laughs> He but he way more player than I expected him to be. I'm like, what the fuck? And he don't really fuck with niggas. So that let me know he was really fucking with me. You know what I mean? Like I I know people, I, I pep, peep this energy out the gate. And you gotta think, nigga, that was two years ago when we first recorded that song. I've been tapped in with him for two years going back and forth talking. You know what I mean? We just now getting it done. Well, we got some more shit on yeah, that's, that's That's like, that shit was meant to happen, nigga. Because if you lost it twice, most yeah. niggas in that position would have been like, man, fuck that shit. Yeah. But for dog to stick with you, nigga. Facts. That's 100, bro. Facts. We did that shit three times, bro. That's 100, That's bro. crazy. Any other opportunity like that, you think it was going to work out like that, nigga? Like, oh, nah. That made folks fuck with you. Like, man, I'm going to give this nigga a chance, bro. And what it was, too, is... Uh, my man's Ricky had vouched for me so good. My nigga from Nashville, he was, he really was fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? He was telling Omar, like, no, man, I believe in this kid, man. You got to fuck with him, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But real shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was all love. He was really fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was a man of his word. Really, I was moving sloppy. Even when we were shooting the video, Omar was out there down there 30 minutes before I got there. I was in a lift in L.A. It was plenty of traffic. Chinese lady was driving. <laughs> I was in the back seat pin. I'm like, this nigga like pull off this unprofessional. It's a bit. Hey, I'm irritated as a motherfucker. No, we got it done. He was like, nigga, I'm outside drinking, nigga, woo woo with the females. We outside already. Yeah, I was driving in LA and I was irritated. So I already know riding to live. I know that shit was irritating. I'm like, oh my God, though. Everywhere I went out there. New York ain't nothing like New York. You feel like the Milwaukee club promoter show you the love you deserve, bro? <laughs> the shit uh, behind closed doors. <laughs> the behind closed doors. A nigga, like uh, a lot of these club owner niggas, or uh, no, these promoters, not the owners. The owners love me, but they never the promoters. Shout out to the club owners. They're my niggas. Like, but on my life, club promoters, they see me and say all. Oh, but they'll be like, oh, what up? Woo woo, your shit fire, bro. Keep it up. Where they comment on Instagram, they double tap some or put fire emojis on some shit. But when you go to their parties, you don't hear my shit. You know what I'm saying? You niggas not I ain't gonna lie, a couple of niggas was trying to book me for for shit, but 
Now I had, I'm supposed to be going, nigga, my shit going crazy right now. Definitely. But you, I don't, I, know I got ass shaking music and shit too. That ain't the shit that I put on a, on a pedestal though and try to promote like that. I'm, bro, I'm rap. I get busy. I don't be on that shit like that. Yeah, bro, like. I really don't give a fuck about performing anyway in no club. Because half the time these niggas don't know how to act and that bitch gets shot up anyway. I be low somewhere, chilling. I'm still getting to a bad. I don't need to be in no club for it. I see some blizzard right behind me. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't need to be doing no shows like that. If it ain't no big arenas or nothing like that, or or how they just did Summerfest and shit like that, I don't really don't want to do that shit. That backyard ass shit, I'm cool. Bro, what's your goals with the music, man? Um, I, first of all, I want to get my Instagram to one million. That's a goal. Like I'm, I'm working on that. A long way to go. I got like thirty thousand motherfuckers. Right? <laughs> but I set a goal though. That's a goal. I want a million followers. Real deal. No robot ass shit. No none of that shit. Real deal. Organic traffic. A million people fucking with my shit, buying my clothes. This is my clothing line right here, Dear Cardo's clothing. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? I want them buying merch. I want them streaming this shit. I want my own fan base. I don't want no record deal. I want an organic million followers on my page that fuck with me. That'd be just the total income that you can control, bro. That's, that's so dope. Like, where you can get paid off of your own following without a label, bro. Like, Oh, this yeah. shit got me too chopped, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no. They go, hold on. But yeah, a million motherfuckers are, are really turn me the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like then I don't give a you can't tell me. fuck a club promoter not fucking with me. Fuck a uh a label blackballing me or well, I got my own shit. I got my own clientele over here. Yeah, you can stand on that shit, stand too. On that. All right, man. One in the morning, man. You by yourself. What gas station you not stopping at? God damn. It depends on how many miles I got left till empty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might end up in the heart. I be, I be good, though. I don't really be tripping. I just try to keep that bit. I ain't... God damn it. If I got... If I, if I got to say... I know everybody gonna say 27th and Burlap. Everybody gonna say 27th That's how I came up with this question. I ended up there at one in the morning. Like, but I, no, I got back in the car. I'm like, why the fuck am I here? Like, why? Yeah, Burlap niggas cool, man. They just gangsters. Niggas be scared, man. Right. Shout out to Burlap, man. Niggas just be. Fuck with the zoo, man. Yeah, fuck with the zoo, man. Um, to, for me personally, what gas station I'm not stopping at? It's one of them white ones in one of them white ass towns where they just want to fuck with a motherfucker. I might be. Yeah, hey, I can't. I can't. Them the ones I'm gonna avoid. I'd rather put my shit in the trenches and know it's a million other niggas. I'm the only nigga in Brookfield. <laughs> one a.m. in Brookfield with my shit slamming. Cops sitting across the street. Motherfucker, you the buttons inside the gas station all the type of shit. Yeah, like, damn, I only wanted 20 on pump six. <laughs> you ain't do shit. No, you had on black hoodie. Oh, damn. And black my color. I wear black all the time. Though. I already know how that shit be. You're going to be a threat. Out the gate just for being a nigga. All right, man. This part of the interview, bro. I'll say the camera on you, man. Let everybody know your social media, what you got dropping next. Shit. Camera on you, man. Do your thing. Uh, I said, after all the bad weather, now the hell gone. I just died in your hands like a cell phone. Put it all on the line, number two pencil. Hustle shit up in my jeans, true religion, sit, true religion stitching. Running through a little city with a big pistol. Young and dumb, I was fucking with the wrong niggas. One week in the trap, make four figures. Back and working, smoking weed, listen to rap niggas with niggas who clap niggas and niggas who crack. 
Oh, I think I always have to ask. Put a so beat on in this bitch. Fuck, they heard a beat on in this bitch. The second person this week that came through this bitch. Shit, bro. Listen, like, yeah. I can yeah, keep I going mean, though. Man. I get crazy in this bitch. This yeah. shit ain't never put a beat on in this bitch. We can really go crazy. Yeah, man. Man, tell me social media. Man, shit, Black Atlantic TV on all pa- on all platforms, man. Simple and plain, no spaces, no underscores, no nothing. Black Aladdin TV. Uh, yeah, man. I'm your woke caddy, Chris, man. Thank y'all for watching Seven Questions in a Session. Uh, hey, so- man, y'all look out for that Put It On The Flow, that Lotto Challenge, man. I'm about to fuck that beat up, too. All, all, for the rest of the summer, I'm fucking up all the hottest industry beats, man. Fuck it. And I'm sending it up, man. For the rest of the summer. Once a week, I'm going a, I'm to a rip the hottest song that week. Just talk your shit, bro. Gang shit. Yeah. Uh, seven sessions in a question. Seven, seven questions in a session. Seven sessions in the session. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go follow the sponsors, Billionaire Hit Raps, man. Treat your lungs better. Uh, spray for a 20. Best cardio to riser out there. And ate off the bone. Men's and female oils. Come get you some so you can get you some. Yeah, uh, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Get us up to a thousand uh, followers, man. Subscribers, I mean. Yeah, so we can make a couple dollars off this year, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, she ain't my girlfriend, but I make G's with her. You get it?